And we are back, and today we're going to be talking about close packed planes and close packed directions. Um, so close packed directions are directions where uh, spheres are always touching. There's no gaps uh, along the direction vector, uh, and the vector is not in uh, where the, or there's no point essentially um, along that vector where atoms aren't being passed through. There's no gaps essentially. So if we look back here, let's go ahead and look at our values here. If we look, if I'm drawing a vector like this, this is not a close pack direction. Why? Because you can see there's gaps here, right? There's a gap where I'm not passing through atoms. But if I drew a direction like this, which happens to be what type of direction? Let's go back to our kind of, okay, where am I ending up? Starting vector, or finish, one, one, one. Where am I leaving, or what I'm beginning at? One, zero, zero. So this is the equal to the what direction? It is the zero one one direction so if i look at that direct uh, director vector there this direction this is a close packed direction why because i'm always going through atoms here so you could also go through the one zero zero direction right here this would also be a close packed direction but not this one so that is the close -pack it's always passing through atoms. that is Hopefully, fairly straightforward. That's a close pack direction. Um, close pack planes. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm flipping my. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. We can go ahead and actually, we can figure out what's a close pack direction in simple cubic. Let's go draw a simple cubic. What is a close pack direction? Well, this is a close pack direction. This is a close pack direction. This is a close pack direction. So, Basically, the family of one zero zero directions are close packed. Is this a close packed direction? No, because again, we're not passing through atoms there. What about BCC? So if I add a cell here, well, those are no longer directions here, but I know that if I pass through here, this direction, the one one one, that is a close packed direction. And we saw again for our FCC. So this is. For, let's go ahead and say. Simple cubic close pack directions. This is for BCC close pack directions. And for FCC, we can see that it's 1, 1, 0 directions. And again, you could go ahead and prove that yourself. Um, close pack planes have a, uh, a nicer mathematical definition. So that is a plane with a packing density of approximately 0 0.9069. Again, assuming that we are spheres of same size. So we have a kind of a, uh, for that packing density, or what I call like, or the planar density, so PD, that is again, have a similar definition to your, um, uh, similar definition to the atomic packing factor, but now it's the number of atoms times the cross-sectional area, which is gonna be, uh, actually it's a circle, so it's pi r squared. Why is it pi r squared? If we're, you know, we're looking basically at a plane, right? So we're looking at a plane, that's going to cut through some atoms. So, for example, if we're looking at this plane for BCC, this plane is cutting through the atoms in half. So it's not 4 pi r squared because we're cutting through it, the, you know, basically across the cross-sectional area. So the cross-sectional area is pi r squared. So the planar density is going to be the number of atoms times pi r squared divided by the area of my plane. So in this instance, it'd be a squared. So Let's go ahead and let's figure out what's the packing density for the 100 plane in simple cubic. So, actually, <coughs> next video. So, let's go ahead and apply that uh, in a nice fun example problem. So, I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.